Oh, hi. Y'all probably already know by now, if y'all have watched any of my videos, that we like drinking. So, we need to add to the drinking repertoire. Let's make a uh, stand that holds an ice chest, ice cooler, ice cooler stand. Let's do it. So I've already done a couple steps. First thing you want to do is remove our hardware from it. <clears throat> so if it that goes for handles, uh, the lid, the hardware to the lid. Um, if they don't screw off, <clears throat> then saw them off using a saw. Um, so once you do that, then you're going to want to lay them down like how I did here. And you're going to want to measure around um, and because you're going to box it in that's how I'm going to do it here so you can tell that I've already drilled <clears throat> I've already attached those so that's going around it after I measured you got that um, what we're using are two by twos for the frames I have three frames on each each one as you can see here one this one to house it which whenever I built it I made two more to put in there and then one for the bottom that I'm gonna make as where you can put extra so three of those the other thing I'm actually using is some probably I guess five eighths inch by four inch wide cedar board or just fence panels it's cheap I like to go the cheapest as possible make it look good it's cheap and I just you literally cut it in half and that's about as tall as you want it to be about 55 or 35 inches tall so this is how this is um, so I'm gonna build this one and show you along the way okay so you got your frames all cut out it's pointless for me to tell you the size of the frame because every cooler is different mine were around like 15 by 27 I believe anyways so once you get these frames cut out you're stuck in a you have two ways to do it this first way I did it that fits in there nice and good when I put my lid on top of it, it locks in perfectly yada yada problem is this is ugly so you're gonna make a border and I just use the cedar wood or the fence post fumble <coughs> so you're gonna have a little border around it you can do it squared or you can cut it at a 45 degree angle I'm probably going to cut at a 45 degree angle, make it look pretty. Problem is, whenever I do that, the lid's not going to lock on. So, so, this is an easy fix. Lift up this cooler, and then just put one of these cedar boards right underneath here for it to sit on, and it'll even out again. Okay, miter saw, cut. And that's how you do a terrible job of cutting at angles, okay? I didn't... Get my proper measurements, do as I say, not as I do. Does it look stupid? Yeah, that's character, I guess. But this thing's goal is to keep the beers cold, and I think it's still going to do that. So, okay. So you can see that this thing's sitting back up now because I put this little board underneath there. So next part, we'll move on to legs. So I take cedar boards. And I just kind of put one on the front, one on the side. The one where the front is, I make sure is the one overlapping. As opposed to the side, if we can get clear, you can see the gap right there. The front overlaps the side, okay? So what I'll do is I'm going to put the side pieces on first, and then I'll put the front pieces on. Um, what I do is I set it down like this. You have this bottom one, then you have this dude. And this is going to be how deep your guy's going to be. And I'll take, I'll make sure it's level by placing it down the bottom and at the top. So that's not hitting that. So we're going to need to move this bad boy out some. She says level right there. And then I'll come back over here, make sure it's level. If it's not, then I will move it. And I will do that to all four corners to make sure they're nice and level. And then I'll start screwing. So if you use this fence post like me, 72 inches long. 
this takes up a little bit over an inch. So if you just cut it, cut the top parts off, miter saw the top parts, and then cut them in half, you're looking at about 35, 35 and a half inches. I just stack them on top of each other, make sure they're nice and straight, nice and level down here, and cut it at 35. Then I'll cut that at 35, and it's basically perfect. Okay, so I drill from the outside, and I'm just gonna cover them up. So I pre-drill all these holes to make it easier. Wood glue here, here. Um, and I assure that all is level whenever I'm doing this. I have my level, and I ensure that this butts up perfectly, doesn't overlap, doesn't go too far under um, with this line right here. If you want to, you can go from the inside through this if you're worried about screw holes, but I got tired of dealing with that. Okay, side pieces in. Two, I cracked this one down here. I'll throw another screw down there, I'm sure. So now we'll move on to the front pieces. Front pieces butt up just like so. Crossing over this side. And uh, wood glue all down it. And we'll be on to the next one. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay. Part goes by pretty quick. Um, next thing I do is. Okay, so this is how we're gonna put this bottom brace in. First things first, make sure it's level. Get it level. This isn't level right now. I'm gonna go through, level it. And then you're gonna screw it, screw it in just like you did these bottom parts. And this should make everything come together. Um, and then it should really make sure that everything is level. All uh, right, here's your bottom shelf. So here we are now. Um, now what you're gonna do, we're gonna cover the front and the sides. People have different ways of doing this. You can honestly use these little fence panels. You know, you can use one by eights, one by sixes. I have all this leftover plywood, so I'm just gonna cover it with plywood. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure here to here, side to side, cut it out, drill it into those two by twos. Simple. All right. Get all the pieces cut out, dry fit those bitches, sand those shits down, screw and nail them on here. Like I said, just on to the two by twos. I use the handy dandy circular saw and it turns out good. <clears throat> and we continue to move right along. There it is so far. This is not my favorite design by any means, but it's a good cheap way for me to do it. Next. Put your lid completely on, and you're going to measure around from here to there, there, all the way around, just like you did on these frames here. So measure all the way out to here, then you'll measure from inside here to inside there, and you're going to cut. I use one by threes. That assures that this thing's tall enough to sit up there. So we'll cut, <clears throat> box it in, then we'll screw it onto the rack. Right. So screwed them in, kind of tell. You can kind of see the screw in there. Make sure you have screws long enough to go through there. Typically your lid, you're not gonna be able to see underneath it. Uh, and the next thing to do is cover the top of it. I'm just using some scrap plywood that I cut up into sections because I'm running low on it. Watch out, June bug. I hate June bugs. Uh, so cover it however you want. Plywood, one by twos, two by fours, one by fours. It don't matter. However you're doing it. <clears throat> and you know, this should be, if you can lift up on it. And it's snug. As you can tell, you can't see any screws coming through. So it's not going to come through. Now should go back on there. <clears throat> so we'll cover it up, then move on. All right. Lid on, lid covered, screwed. It's always better if you have an air nail gun, which I'll have one of those eventually. That's part bottom. Measure, cut, circular saw or whatever, slide it in there. 
Yeah. Hammer, nail, it in there. <coughs> then we'll move on to for the spigot. Okay, for the spigot, you're gonna take off this part here. Um, if it's old, corroded, runt, then you can buy a new one, either online or Academy sells these. I bought this at Academy, just a couple dollars. So I have this. You have this, which will go on the inside. This, these are all half inch, which will screw in here from the outside. This coupler, which will screw in there. And then your hose bib or spigot or whatever, that will screw in there. So the first step is to take a marker and mark. Put it in there and mark right in there. Then we'll take this dude out, and you're going to drill a pilot hole right here. Okay, so we'll do a pilot hole right here. Then we'll come on this side and drill a half inch hole. Okay, so hole drill, you need larger than a half half inch, I don't know why I said that. Um, so next I inserted this, I think it's four inch, um, inserted that through there. Um, every distance is gonna differ, so you just need to measure. What I did is I put this thing in here and I measured literally from where this hole starts all the way out to where this is, and that gave me an idea. I think I got a pretty good match. So you insert this in there, you put your washer and everything, and just screw it in, get a wrench, tighten it. Uh, one more thing, I'm gonna pull this out, put some Teflon tape on each side also. Get the cooler in. <clears throat> I have my inside piece connected to the nipple, the nipple to the coupler, and then this dude will just come right here. It fits, I have a perfect link to it, so. He'll screw in right there. Spigot is on. Put some water in here, test it out, make sure it's not leaking. If it is, then you can use some PVC sealant. Or man, I, I really like this goop stuff for plumbing. It does a really good job. But, so test that out. <clears throat> and the last thing is just some accessories. You wanna put a handle on the front here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put handles on each side. In case, you know, to help you lift it up. You can even put rollers, wheels on the bottom if you want, which I'm not doing. It's gonna be in the same spot most of the time. And then hinges, I just, you can use whatever hinges you want. I just use these because I had some extra laying around, so it's free. So, we'll add the accessories. All right, and now we are complete. So, handles, bottle openers. I even made these little, to catch the bottle, to bo catch the bottle caps. Uh, so there you go. There's one, you know, eh. there's the other one, America. Now you're ready to drink some cold beers.